there are quite a number of certifications available. Like back then, when we first started, there were only two, which is the media planning and media buying, which these are the two that I'm certified for. And now they have added quite a number of new badges, like, you know, this is the Certified Digital Marketing Associate. I think this is more like the entry level fundamental. And then this is the Certified Marketing Science Professional. I took a look at it. It's kind of like more towards, um, what do we call that? It's more towards um, analytical kind of thing. And uh, of course, the other one is the creative strategy. This is more for the creative individuals, I suppose. And of course, the marketing developer, advanced marketing developer and all that, these are all uh, for the, com I mean, for, for what do we call the uh, technical people. And uh, we took a look at this community manager and end up is quite complex. It's not as straightforward as uh, we thought, you know, it's more towards uh, the best practices in terms of managing groups and all that. So yeah. I would say if you want to get certified, I would strongly encourage that you do that. Hey, GY, what's up? Thanks, thanks. Uh, very simple. If you want to do that, right, you just come over here. How do you want to get certified for Facebook Blueprint certification? Very simple. You just come in here. All you need to do is to pick the paper that you want to study. I mean, I will always encourage that you study first before you jump right into taking the paper. Uh, yeah, you need to because the questions is actually not that straightforward. Um, I was not supposed to share the questions, but I remember one of it and I tweak it. I just want to quickly share with you later in a bit. But anyway, if you want to get certified for Facebook Blueprint certification, just go to Google, look for Facebook Blueprint certification, then you'll be landed on this one. Just pick a paper. Like for example, here we go for the Digital Marketing Associates. And then you go in, click Learn More. You don't need me to teach you this thing. Click Learn More, then you go into this. Now, as it says, it's a 19 minute exam. Uh, all together, I think 90 minutes, it should be about 40 to 50 questions because mine was 110 minutes. I think uh, we had about 60 questions. The passing score is about 80%, quite high. So all you need to do is you have to go through the, the so-called, the what do we call the, the, the learning material. Now, this is how I learned. Very simple. If you want to take an exam, the first thing that you need to do is really to go in here and get started by going in and uh, they will actually give you all the so-called courses within blueprint that you need to study like for example this is for digital marketing associate right so when you come in here they will tell you these are all the all the programs that you need to study so i would strongly recommend this is how i do every time i want to take the exam i will study every single uh recommended courses over here uh even though a lot of them in fact I would say more than 80% of them, I have gone through them before already. However, um, it is still a good thing to go through because I pick up a, new, a few new things here and there. To be frank, I did pick up a few new things here and there, and it really helped me in terms of understanding better about Facebook advertising. So after that, this is where you go through, right? So it's these are the, all the courses inside Blueprint. So all you need to do is to study all this and go through that. And then after that, uh, then you'll be coming back to this, right? Then you can actually test your skill. Going in, you will be going through, you will be actually given a test, a practice test. Uh, so you will go through the practice test. And after that, when you're more comfortable, then you'll be able to go in here and take the exam. You know, just click register and it will bring you the Pearson view and you'll be able to just, you know, schedule. So the exam fee, if I'm not mistaken, for the paper that I'm, I was taking, it's $75. 75 US dollars and uh, you will be it, it will be actually a proctored exam whereby what do you mean by proctored exam? So a uh, proctored exam means we will be we will have to lock ourselves in the room where during that period of time nobody can come in or out and then after that you, you shouldn't be having anything that you can reach on your I mean with the arm slang and you can't drink you can't do anything so when you look at when you start the exam you practically have to stay in front of the computer you cannot leave so over the other side there will be somebody actually watching you over the camera so a few things you can't do, right? Uh, if you if your eyesight keep moving away from the screen, then they will detect. So that will that will be pick, pick up as a, as a signal that they will they will suspect that you are actually cheating. And another thing that you cannot do, I actually did that. I was kind of like closing my mouth and thinking to myself like that, right? Uh, and I was prompted and say that you are not supposed to do that. So it's a very interesting exam. 